so I'm back with another video and today I am filming my first haul mm, 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 mm. super exciting so I don't have too many items to show you but let's just get started okay so first I'm going to start with Ulta I picked up just a few items from there the first item I am wearing on my lips right now and then there's the NYX liquid suede cream lipstick and I have mine in the shade Brooklyn Thorn actually like this for a while I wasn't yeah it takes a while to dry but for a while I wasn't wearing NYX lip products but lately I've been loving them and this one is like a I don't know how to describe it it's kind of similar to what's that shade from MAC stone it's kind of similar to stone by mac which i also have but i actually like this and it's actually pretty comfortable on the lips it's not too drying and it's pretty comfortable and i've been liking this and this is the nyx liquid suede by nyx next from ulta i did already mention these in my favorites video but i'll mention them again in this video and i picked up the vegas nay i lord lashes and i bought two of these i absolutely love them i am wearing them right now and yeah, I, also these are buy one get one half off, which I do recommend buying them there because you can get them from Walmart as well, but they're not buy one get one half off. So that's the deal. And I picked these up from Ulta and they were like eight, eight or nine dollars and then I got the other pair half off. Next from Ulta, I picked up a mascara. And I've been on a hunt for a good mascara because all of the ones that I own are like dry for some reason. I don't know what's going on. I haven't had them for that long. But all of my mascaras are dry. So I was looking on YouTube for a good mascara and then I ran across Drea's channel and she mentioned um, this mascara. And it's the Super Sizer by CoverGirl and I have mine in the shade Very Black. Um, I did use this today. This is amazing. And for the price, it's like 5 or $6. The wand on this is just, I don't know, it's going to make you look like you have lashes if you don't. And this is absolutely amazing and it's super creamy. I don't think this is going to dry out anytime soon. I sure hope not, but I absolutely love this and this is by CoverGirl. Lastly from Ulta, I did go ahead and pick up another one of the Matte and Poreless by Maybelline. And I got mine in the shade 360 Mocha. I was using the 355 Mocha last year, but I have a, little, a lot darker than that now. So I went and picked up the 360 Mocha, and this works really good. And this is like one of the best drugstore foundations that I've ever tried. And I have mine in the shade 360 Mocha. Next, I'm going to mention two eyeliners that I got from my actual beauty supply store. And first, and they're both by, let me see. They're both by Ruby Kisses. So this first one, I have like this nice aqua color. Look how pigmented that is. Super pigmented. And they're like $1 or $2 at my beauty supply store. So I decided to pick up two shades. And I also have this gold color. This one's called Metallic Gold. And then the one I just showed you is called Pastel Blue. And they're both just super pigmented. As soon as I saw them, I was just like, I have to get these. And especially for the price and they're super pigmented, you can't lose for that. So I definitely go check out your local beauty supply store. And both of these are by Ruby Kisses. Next, I'm going to show you what I got from Sephora. Um, this first item I did already mention in my favorites video. But I'll go ahead and mention it again in this video. And it's the Sephora Bright Future Concealer. I did recently pick this up. And yeah, um, if you want to see exactly what I think about it, watch my favorites video. But this is absolutely amazing. And I have mine in the shade Toffee. Okay, next from Sephora. This is has been my jam. I haven't had it for that long. Probably about three or four weeks. But, yep, you can see I picked up the Ultimate Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I actually love it. There's a lot of mixed reviews about this. Let me get rid of the mirror. There's a lot of mixed reviews about this, but I don't think mine is too chunky. They say that the glitter in here is a lot chunkier. It's chunkier than their other um, glow kits, but this one I actually really like. Um, it really caters towards, towards darker skin tones. And I even I can even see myself using the snow one, even though they say it's not for dark skin tones. Hey girl, do what you want. So I do plan on still using the snow one, but all of these work fine for me and with a good brush it does have a little bit more fallout than the other ones but for $45 and you get six highlights you really can't beat that and I think the qualities are great and there's the ultimate glow kit by Anastasia lastly for Sephora I just have a point perk it's the Smashbox photo finish primer now I think I'm gonna go pick up the full size of this I used it today for the first time 
and I actually like it. It feels like like silicone-y on your fingers. I actually really like it. So I'm gonna go pick up the full size of this and I'm gonna see how my makeup slays throughout the day to see if it's actually worth picking it up. But yeah, I actually like this and this was a point perk that I got from Sephora. Okay, so for Black Friday, I'm not doing a Black Friday haul mainly because I only picked up from one store. But I did shop on Morphe for the first time and when I say I'm beyond happy with my purchase, like beyond happy. So first I'm going to show you what I got. I got this brush set. As you can see it comes in this beautiful black and white travel case. Absolutely love it and there is 12 brushes in here. 12 brushes. So you cannot beat that and this is super cute. Like I can hold these brushes in this and then my other brushes I can store them in this side absolutely perfect i absolutely love this so it came with 12 brushes i'm not going to go through what each brush does but as you can see um there's a few blending brushes and face brushes and eyeliner packing brushes concealer brush you name it they're all in here and yeah i want to say this was on sale for 25 dollars and then i used the coupon code for black friday which gave me an additional 25 percent off so i was super excited about this and i cannot wait to use these so and these um, these brushes they don't have numbers on like the standard brushes but they're absolutely amazing i do recommend picking these up last time i checked it was still in stock so i would go check out these and they're buying morphe next from morphe i did pick up additional brushes other than that set and then the first one i got is the morphe m432 and this one is like i plan on doing so much with this brush I, I can see myself smoking out my lower lash line with this brush doing a nice cut crease or even cleaning up my eyebrows with this brush and i'm not gonna lie most of these brushes that i got i got because jacqueline re recommended them but if she likes them i'm pretty sure i'm gonna like them and i got this one and again all of these brushes i'm going to mention i got an additional 25 percent off on Next, from Morphe, I did pick up um, two blending brushes. I got the M441, which just looks like this. Super soft. Can I just mention that the quality of these brushes are amazing, and especially for the price point, these are actually amazing. So I needed a new blending brush, and then I picked up a more dense blending brush for more packing, like on the outer corner. And then this one is the M433. So I have both of these, and I cannot wait to use them. Okay, next from Morphe, I picked up another brush, and I picked up the M501. Jacqueline kept raving about this brush, saying that she used it for a highlight. It kind of looks like a huge blending brush, but it's absolutely amazing. The, the Just the feel of these is just mind-blowing. I love these, and I cannot wait to use it with my new highlighter and test it out and see how it works out. And that is the M501. Next brush is also for highlight, and is the M... 143 and it is a huge fan brush would you believe that i've never owned a fan brush before i've always wanted one but the little ones in the store i just didn't want to waste my money on them so i saw this one on the website and it's absolutely amazing <laughs> i haven't used it yet but just to feel of it i just love it and i can't wait to try it out with a nice highlighter it's going to be super nice and then this is the m143 and it's by morphe lastly from morphe i picked up one more brush and it is the M439 and based on what I've seen on YouTube this is like a beauty blender on a stick so I cannot wait to try this with my foundation I am going to use it in my next tutorial with my Maybelline foundation to see exactly how it ties out but this is like the, the just the feel of these brushes I'm so sorry the feel of these brushes are amazing especially for the price point so yeah, this is the M439, and I'm so excited that I finally was able to purchase from Morphe. Okay, lastly, I went to Inglot, and I picked up another one of the Inglot number 77 gel liners. So just a quick story about this. I'm actually pretty embarrassed to say it, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So this is the second one that I've owned from, say, last year probably around this time last year. Um, I, for some reason, every time I went to work, I would leave it open. I would keep forgetting to close it. So eventually it just dried out so bad on me. So instead of going and buying the door line and just, you know, bringing it back to life, guess what I did, you guys? I stuck it in the microwave. I know. I get the donkey of the year for that. So I stuck it in the microwave. And when I tell you within two seconds, fire everywhere like literally the fire i just i'm just like oh my god 
But luckily, um, the guy I was dating at the time, he was there, so he was able to put the fire out. But yeah, so that was not smart of me, of course. But I'm finally able to pick it back up. And even when I go in there, I tell the girl, and she always laughs. But yeah, so I know this time to just pick up the door line if I happen to leave it open again. But yeah, that's happened to my last one. <laughs> Okay guys, that wraps it up for my first makeup haul. Thank you all so much for watching and for this makeup look, I did film it and the video should be up before or after this video, I'm not quite sure yet. And I would love for you guys to leave your video suggestions below. I would love to know what you guys would like to see and leave me a nice comment and subscribe to my channel and give this video a like and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. This is comfortable on the lips. Sticky but comfortable. Please let me know what you were liking in this video. Why are my teeth looking yellow? These brows are bold.